Yeah, this car's a real beauty. You know, it's got like 650 horsepower. Wow! Bro, over here. I got it. So, you girls want to see my Rolex? <laughs> ah! My car! Oh, crap. French, uh -uh. <laughs> Get back here! Before you ask, no, I haven't been involved in any accidents recently. Connor! Dad? Hey there, son. How's it going? How are you calling me? Kalumzi told me you were dead. He did? He joined us for lunch just last week. Ah, Kalumzi! So, how's business at the warehouse going? You get all your paperwork done? Yeah, it's all taken care of. Excellent news, son. Someday you'll be just as much of a hard worker as your old man. Harold, there's a fire on the fifth floor! Don't you people know how to knock? I'm on the phone! Anyway, I need to speak to you about something. I didn't mean to leak all those emails, okay? I must have been hacked! It was about the yearly K. Rule Incorporated office party. Oh. Uh, never mind then. What's up? You see, your cousin Kirk's office is currently closed due to some contaminated food going around there. There was a surprise! That Thanksgiving dinner last year was terrible! I cooked that. I mean, it was delicious! Those sick people all have terrible taste! Anyway, since this place is off the table, we're gonna need to have the office party at your warehouse this year. Sorry, what? The party will take place Friday evening at around 7, so make sure everything's ready for us by then. I can't throw an office party! Nonsense, sure you can. Your boarding school teacher told me you always threw parties when you lived in the Koopa Kingdom. That's different! You weren't supposed to know about those! We'll be here Friday. I expect to see the warehouse in the best possible condition prepared for us coming. Later, son. Everybody listen up! Stop what you're doing! It's cool! We weren't doing anything anyway. What's up? We got some important announcements. First, we'd appreciate it if someone didn't keep clogging the toilet with their garbage. Don't look at me, I only did that once. It'd be nice if you at least replace the toilet roll after. Jeez. Second of all, we're having an office party Friday at 7. We are? Awesome! This is gonna be great! Things are about to get crazy! Yeah! We're following the safety guidelines, of course! Hey, hold the phone! I said we're having an office party, not a messy, out-of-control high school frat party! I went to one of those just last week, actually. Dude, you're 32. Start a family or something. This is a business party. We're not having you guys dancing on the tables and drinking out of each other's belly buttons. The old bus let us do that. Well, he ain't here no more, is he? What's the occasion for the party anyway? If you must know, my family's coming to visit. Including my father. You have a father? Jeez, he must be like... A hundred. Hey! I ain't that old! Tiny, K. Rool's father is the head of the whole business. Yeah, he's the owner of K. Rool Incorporated. The hell's he coming here for then? Nothing interesting goes on here. Never mind that. He's coming here for the business's annual office party, so you'd all better be on your best behavior. So no dancing, no loud music, and especially no posting on social media about how much of an insane time you're having. Man, this blows. What are we even gonna do all evening? I don't like this as much as you. I'd rather spend my evening with my TV and a bowl of Cheetos than those boring clowns. But it's happening, so deal with it! Yeah, exactly. So I'll bring the beer for us, right boss? There's not gonna be any beer, clump. What? The hell are we gonna have to drink? You will have the options of water or sugar-free juice. Yeah, this party's gonna be boring as hell. Well, that's just tough! I need my father to be impressed with this place, so you guys had better be on your best behavior! Can we choose not to show up? Sure, if you prefer to be scrounging in the streets desperate for cash. We'll behave ourselves, boss. Good. See you on Friday, then. Now back to work! Yo, Diddy. 
I haven't forgotten about you. Sorry, who are you again? Very funny, chump. So you know, Dixie's still my girl, so you better keep your grubby little hands off of her. She hasn't been with you in months. Move on, dude. I mean it, Diddy. You don't know her like I do. If I see you anywhere near Dixie at this office party, I'm gonna knock you out. Back off, man. Let's go, Diddy. I'm serious, Diddy! Dixie's mine! It's about about the office party tomorrow, huh? Yeah, mate. Bigger let down than when England lost the World Cup. Again! It's your own fault for expecting them to win at this point. I don't think it'll be that bad, guys. Sure, it's not what we wanted, but it could still be fun. You've never met K. Rool's father. It's really unlikely we'll be having any fun with him around. Hi! What's he like? Last time he came to the warehouse, he made everyone work in silence, and he wouldn't allow the radio on. Yeah, and that was when I was waiting to call into radio too! You just wanted to call Steve Wright an asshole! Yeah, but I couldn't, could I? Well, that's too bad. Beats doing work, though. That is true. At least you get to spend the afternoon just talking. You mean like every other day? Hey, we do stuff. I helped Tiny with the coffee machine yesterday. When I use it, it just comes out as this weird brown stuff. You're supposed to put water in it, Tiny. But then it gets soggy. On that note, I'm off to the bathroom. I'll be right back. All right, later. There goes your girlfriend, Diddy. <laughs> Knock it off, man. Quick, get a quick look at her before she goes to bug. Why well, remind you that's my cousin you're talking about? So you gonna ask her out sometime or what? Don't you join in! What? She's not my cousin. She's your sister! So if anyone should have any control over who she's dating, it should be me. Actually, I do have an idea of how I'm gonna ask her out. Oh yeah? How so? Alright. Tomorrow at the office party, I'm gonna spend the afternoon with her. Maybe get her a drink or two. Then towards the end of the night, I'll ask her if she maybe wants to go on a date here with me. That has to be the crappiest idea I've ever heard. Why? What's wrong with it? You don't take a girl out to this bloody place if you really like her. This place is for cheap lashes and one night stands. Yeah, guys take me here all the time. Where do you suggest I take her then? I don't know, somewhere fancy, like a waitrose or something. I'm not paying a hundred dollars for one meal. Maybe Dick, she'll go out with someone who will then? Ignore them, Diddy. I'm sure your plan will work just fine. Yeah, Dixie would be lucky to be with you. Alright then, thanks guys. Uh-uh, she's coming back! Quick, change the subject! And that's how we as a society can maintain interest in the stock market! Wow, Tiny, I never knew you were so into economics! The hell's an economic? Alright, we got six hours until the party! Everything ready? Don't worry, boss. Everything's all taken care of. The decorations are up, the desks are out of the way, and the snacks are all ready! Awesome, what'd you get? Just the usual. Orange juice, biscuits, vegan wheat crackers. Vegan wheat crackers?! The hell's the matter with you?! What about potato chips?! Uh, well, I figured they weren't really a healthy snack. Get potato chips now! <laughs> Ugh, this thing is already a disaster! Relax, man. Things honestly look pretty good. This is my father we're talking about. Pretty good isn't good enough. It'll be fine, man. You need to relax. Maybe it'd be going better if you morons were screwing everything up! Hey, we're putting a lot of effort into this! Then why is your friend sleeping on the couch? Come on, he's just taking a quick break. I swear, DK, if this don't go well, you and your friends are gonna be in serious trouble! Lanky? Well, that was exhausting. Yeah, sure hope this party's gonna be worth it. I know, right? K. Rule should give us a big pay raise for doing this. It's K. Rule. The sun's more likely to plummet into the earth and destroy everything around it. It's 2020. That's probably gonna end up happening this year. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yo, Dixie. Looking forward to tonight? Standing around a boring room while listening to some boring old boomers in suits talk business? Yeah, sounds like a blast. Don't worry, I'll be there. We could maybe catch up on a few things, and I could show you my new jewelry. How's that sound? Pretty painful, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, may I have a talk with Diddy? Aww, are you gonna ask him out to the party? No, it's work-related! Alright, jeez. Later, Diddy. Later. 
thought I warned you about talking to Dixie! This doesn't sound very work-related. I mean it, Diddy! You better back off before things get ugly. How about we let Dixie decide, okay? You really are pathetic, you know that? You're a 28-year-old man and you're beefing with a 19-year-old kid over a girl he likes? Hey, I'm 30! That doesn't make it better, dude. Whatever, I'm out of here! But you better watch your back when talking to my girl! <laughs> OW! That door's locked. I know that! Where the hell have you been this whole time? Calm down, man. I was just in the bathroom. Had a pretty big breakfast of bacon, beans, eggs, cheese, and garlic this morning. Ugh, or I'm gonna stay clear of the bathroom for a few days. Anyway, did anybody respond to the emails about the party? Sorry, the what now? Remember? Yesterday I asked you to email my family about the office party! Oh. You idiot club! You're telling me we spent all day organizing this party and no one even knows what time to show up?! I had other things on my mind. I was trying to make an omelet. You're about as effective as blocking someone on Discord. Send out those emails, now! Do I have to? Do you want to keep your hands? Ah, uh, yes boss. My bad. Dad, you made it! Yeah, and on such short notice, too. Yeah, sorry about that. The internet must have been down or something. I figured you'd be able to afford better internet. Piss off, Kennedy! Don't talk to your brother like that. Yo, welcome to the party. Who's this? The janitor or something? This is our senior office manager, Gary Klump. Oh, I see. Well, that's interesting. Do you have a business degree? Oh, but I got a tattoo on my left ass cheek if you guys want to see. We're good, thanks. So, uh, who are all you guys? Well, this is my father, Harold K. Rule. Yes, the current CEO of the K. Rule Incorporated business. And this is my son, Kennedy, my daughter, Kelly, my son-in-law, Cameron Ross, and my nephew, Carter Ridge. Yo, is there a toilet in here? It's upstairs to the left. Great, thanks. Are you from someone else's side of the family? His parents might be related. Anyway, let's get this party started. Right this way, guys. Hey, it's going pretty well so far, huh? Please don't talk for the rest of the evening. So, what do you think of the place so far? Seems a little unprofessional. Trust me, it's very professional in here. We always make sure everyone's working hard. Doesn't seem very organized. That window over there has been left open. It was getting kind of hot in here. It's 89 degrees outside. True hard workers don't complain about being too hot or too cold. Go work in a Russian gold mine then, jackass! You could learn a lot from your brother, Connor. His office last year was much more professional than this. Yeah, last year we managed to make it so every department got its own kitchen. What do you want, a medal? And we made enough money to take a trip to Legoland. Ugh, asshole. Maybe if you spent your childhood working hard instead of partying, you'd be able to afford the luxuries I can. Good for you! I made friends instead! Hey, I got friends. I speak to my butler every other week. Relax, boys. It's not a competition. But if it was, Kennedy would be winning by a mile. <sighs> Man, K. Rule really seems threatened by the presence of his folks. Yeah, he's like the Super Mario Galaxy 2 of his family. I'd feel bad if he wasn't such a lunatic. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to ask you something. Sure, what's up? Well, you see... Sup, Dixie? Thought you might be here. It's work, where else would she be? This is for you. Oh, um, thank you, Krusha. Yeah, you like it? Did you pick that out of somebody's garden? Piss off, Diddy! So, Dixie, you wanna come get a drink with me after this? Not tonight, thanks. I think after this, I just want to go home and chill. Oh, come on! Stop being a pussy! I'll pay for your drinks! I'm sorry, Crusha, but I'm not interested. It's been a rough week. I just want a good rest. Why are you being like this? I'm like one of the most successful guys out here, and I've spent so much money on you. Stop being so stupid! If you're just gonna act like a jerk, then go away. Fine then. Screw you anyway. I jumped like 18 garden fences to get that. Uh, sorry about that. It's cool, it's cool. So, as I was saying... Can it wait? I need to use the bathroom. Oh, sure. 
Hi there, what's your name? Alright love, my name's David, everyone calls me Lanky. So Lanky, what do you usually do around here? Meh, just work in the warehouse. Gets pretty boring but pays alright I guess. Wow, I love a man who does a bit of manual labor. It's hardly labor, it's mostly just moving crap and writing stuff down. What about you then? Oh me? I'm Connor's sister, Kelly Roll. Oh yeah, Connor's alright I guess. Bit of a nutter, but he's not the worst boss in the world. Sweet! So, would you like to maybe show me around the stock room? Oh yeah, alright then. Can't be too long though, I'm not supposed to be in there without supervision. Kelly? Uh, Kelly? Hey Diddy, having a good time? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, how'd it go with Dixie? Meh, Crusha got in the way. Couldn't you have just walked around him? I was gonna ask her out, but she went to the bathroom. How long ago was that? Ages ago. It's like she's decoding the Matrix in there. Ugh, I'm sorry, man. You guys don't think she's avoiding me, do you? Why? Do you smell funny? Maybe try a positive gesture? Bring her a drink when she gets back or something. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Thanks, Chunky. No problem, Diddy. Break a leg. Not literally, though, because someone could get seriously hurt. Hey, boss. How's it going? It's a nightmare. My dad's done nothing but complain all evening. Why? What's wrong? He's been saying it's too boring, and he's just been nitpicking about the place. He was complaining that the disabled parking sign spoiled his view earlier. But I doubt it's going that bad. He told me he's been to funerals more fun than this. Relax, boss. Maybe just try to get away from business talk and just talk about the good times. Please, his idea of a good time is a trip to a paper museum. Maybe if he sees how much hard work we do around here, he'll lighten up. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, actually. Ugh, well, I don't feel so good. Did you drink all the orange juice? Oh, I found the barrel of all these weird green apples in the stock room. Dude, those apples aren't green. They've gone rotten. Mm. Ah, crap. Wow, you're a really good kisser, Lanky. Yeah, man, not so bad yourself. Anyway, you wanna come get a drink with me? Sorry, I gotta head back to my husband. Husband? You're married? You think I wear this ring for fun? Quick, there he is! Hey, you guys seen my wife anywhere? Tall, dirty blonde hair, blue dress? No? How come? People have been telling me that they've seen her with some dopey orangutan! Oh, uh, we wouldn't know anything about that. Alright, if you see him, let me know. <laughs> I feel sorry for whoever that orangutan is. Right, Chunky? Yo, what you got for me there? Hey! Aw, oh, sorry. Was that meant for Dixie? Man, grow up. She doesn't like you anyway. Face facts, Diddy. Girls like Dixie don't want to date dorky-ass guys who live with their grandfather. They want to date a Chad, who drives their own car and can afford to buy their own Rolex. You must have a really low opinion of her if you think she's that shallow. You know it's the truth. By the end of tonight, she's gonna be coming home with me. Watch and learn, Diddy. What's wrong with you? Ugh, light something. There you are, Connor! Yeah, the hell have you been? Sorry, was just talking with my chief warehouse worker over here. I'm the chief warehouse worker? Just roll with it. I see. Yeah, K. Rule's a great boss. One time one of us was in hospital, and K. Rule paid off the whole medical bill. You are telling me you spent valuable business money on some stupid warehouse worker? Wow, I did not expect that to backfire. Can we go soon? This party sucks. No one asked for your opinion! We will probably have to get going pretty soon. This is a bit of a snooze fest. Come on, we're all having a good time. Please, this is a total drag. I can't find Kelly anywhere, and Carter's falling asleep over there. Maybe he's just exhausted from all the fun he's having. Nah, this whole thing's been a total failure. Don't worry, Dad. We can just go for a ride in my private jet tomorrow if you'd like to take your mind off it. That'd be good, thanks, son. Could I come? Make a billion dollars a year, then you can come. Ugh, this whole thing has been a total disaster! Come on, boss, it's not going too badly. Nah, let's just face facts. Everyone here looks like they're falling asleep. They look about as lively as the zombies in Resident Evil. I guess I'll just have to accept the fact that I'll never get my old man's approval. Or, 
Are you alright, boss? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll get back to work. It's an office party, remember? Right, yeah. Dixie, there you are. Oh, hey Diddy. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. After I went to the bathroom, I got talking to Kennedy and his folks. Did you know his son Caden is the founder of Block Nation? Oh, he is? Yeah, he could get me signed to a major label. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's pretty cool, I suppose. Sorry, what was it that you were gonna say earlier? Oh, nothing too important. Come on, Diddy, what were you gonna say? Really, it's nothing. Okay. Anyway, I should head back to Caden. See you later. Yeah. Later, Dixie. Ugh, damn it, Damien. You made out with K. Rool's sister? Yeah, man, she's actually not that bad for her age. Well, you better watch her back, because her husband's coming after you. That's funny. Usually I'm the one married men come after. All right, you know she was bloody married. I'm not a mind reader. Guys, I need your help. Did you accidentally lose your house keys in the stock room again? They're hard to find, okay? And no, it's about K. Rool. He thinks this party's terrible. But it is terrible! Yeah, man, other than me and Kelly, this whole thing's been bloody boring. Relax, it's not been that bad. I've had fun. You think untangling wires is fun? It's satisfying, okay? I know, but we've gotta do something. His family's giving him a ton of flack for it. Now what are we supposed to do? We've never thrown a party for boring businessmen before. Yeah, this party could have been good had he not made us suck the fun out of it. Wait a minute, that's it! Tiny, you're a genius! Well, I did get a D- on my biology exam. D- isn't good, Tiny. This party's only lame because we made it boring to impress the adults. If they don't like it, let's just throw the party we really want. Yeah, you're right! Let's throw a real party! Yeah! With music and drinks and everything! I don't know about this, DK. If this goes wrong, we could get into even more trouble. Come on, Chunky. You'll feel better after you've had a drink. Yeah! And we'll play all the songs you like! Like Sweet Caroline! <sighs> Alright. As long as we don't make too much of a mess. <sighs> this party blows! Uh, at least the food was pretty good. The least you could have done is save some for the rest of us! Uh, boss? Do none of you idiots know to knock before entering a room?! You seen what's going on up there? Everything's gone into chaos! What?! Yeah, the Kongs all started playing loud music and gave everyone beer! Awesome! Those guys are dead! Chunky! 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 The hell's going on out here? <laughs> you are so dead. Piss off, Kennedy! Where the hell's dad? He went to the bathroom. He's gonna kill you when he sees this. What the hell even happened? I don't know, ask him. Uh, DK? Hey boss, having fun? The hell's going on here? This place is like a California frat party! Everyone was complaining that they were bored, so we thought we'd liven things up a bit. Want a drink? No, I do not want a drink! The hell's the matter with you? Calm down, boss. Everyone's having a good time. This is a business party! You don't have a good time! You talk about boring crap like taxes and stir the clock until it's time to go home! My father's gonna kill me when he sees this! Here he is, Dad. Connor! Dad? I can explain. I gotta say, I'm impressed. What?! You really managed to turn this party around, son. Everyone's having a blast. Come on, Dad. Don't you think that's a little unprofessional? Nonsense. You've gotta stop thinking about work all the time, Kennedy. Why can't you be more like Carter? Yeah, sometimes when I close my eyes, I can't see a thing. You need to go home, man. It seems to be the officer problem. <laughs> God, Chunky, legend! Yeah, that's him. Hey, you! Ah! Yo, Dixie! Huh? Prussia? How much have you had to drink? The offer to come out with me is still on the table. Come on, this party's trash anyway. I'm good, thanks. Kiss me. What? No, piss off. Come on, you know you want to be with me. I told you no! Hey! I won't take no for an answer! I'm nice to you, I buy you gifts, I drive you around in my convertible! Well, I thought it was your mom's. Shut up, club! 
Crusher, will you stop? You're embarrassing me. Just come to your senses. You're my girl, Dixie. Leave her alone, Crusher. Get out of here, Diddy. This don't concern you. You're drunk, man. Leave her alone. Yeah, leave the girl alone, asshole. Listen to the weedy little guy. Back off my cousin, Crusher. <laughs> Y'all think you're so tough, don't you? Crusher, are you okay, man? <laughs> Wow. You're disgusting. <sighs> Dixie, wait. Hey, what's going on here? <sighs> hey, this is my nicest armor. The hell's going on here? Aw, oh, damn it, Kennedy, you're covered in vomit. It's not my fault, Dad. This dude just threw up all over me. You embarrassment! How is this a good look for the business? Go clean yourself up, you disappointment. Ugh, fine. Thanks a lot, asshole. And you! Ugh, I feel sick. Damn it, Crusher, the hell's wrong with you? Do I need to go through the harassment guidelines with you again? Get out of here, you're a disgrace to this business. But I'm too drunk to drive home. Yo, you can stay with me. <sighs> Yo, you okay, man? That sounded rough. <laughs> I'm good, bro. Well, that was pretty fun, huh, Dad? Indeed it was, son. That was probably the most fun I've had in 52 years. Oh yeah, what happened then? That was the night I met your mother. Oh yeah? Was it a romantic dance or something? Nah, she came in my office and was willing to do anything to get a promotion. Oh, still, out of all of my wives, she was probably the one I loved the most. Really? Yeah. Before she caught me cheating on her with the housekeeper and burned all my clothes, that is. I see. You did good tonight, son. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Yo, you ladies want to work for a real estate developer? We're gonna have to carry him, aren't we? Man, that was some party, huh? Yeah, bro. We really managed to turn things around in the end. Yeah, you did a great job at that. Shame your thing with Dixie didn't quite go as planned. Eh, we both had fun tonight. That's what's important. Well, that and her at least not ending up with Crusha. Oh yeah, she dodged the bullet with that guy. Either way, that was great. The first half was a snooze fest, but it was really fun in the end. Are you still talking about the party, or are you reading a review of 21 Jump Street? Still here, huh guys? Hey Dixie, what's up? Nothing, I just had to clean myself up after Crush up barfed all over me. Yeah, sorry about that. That dude's been eating some weird stuff. His puke smelt of raw hamburger meat. Well, my appetite is ruined. Anyway, how'd things go with Kennedy's son? Eh, not the best. He thought my writing sounded too edgy for his liking. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, apparently what doesn't kill me might make me kill you was too much for those pansies to handle. <laughs> pussies. Oh well, they're the ones missing out. You'll get picked up by a label eventually. Thanks, Diddy. There you guys are! The hell happened to you, Lanky? That husband of Kelly's happened. He chased me into the stock room and then beat the tar out of me. <laughs> Unlucky, man. Woo, yeah, he was furious. He looked angrier than me when I reached the end of Last of Us Part 2. He'll get over it. I don't know, man. He said if he ever saw your face again, you'll regret ever leaving your house. I already bloody do. He doesn't scare me. <sighs> you okay, man? My head hurts. Too much to drink, huh, Chunky? Yeah, I really should have stopped after one. For a guy your size, you're kind of a lightweight. I'm really gonna sleep tomorrow. And what about you, Tiny? Oh! I ran into K. Will's cousin after Crusher made an ass out of himself. K. Ringe? Yeah, that guy. We got to dancing and may have kissed a little. Wow, Tiny. Your standards must be really low. That guy? You'd feel differently if you saw his bank account. No amount of money would make me want to date a guy who thinks a tree stump counts as a toilet. I just had a thought. What's up, bro? If K. Rool's gone home, does that mean the Christmas bonuses are still in his office? You missed a spot. Ugh, I hate this job.